We've heard of a lot of different use cases for artificial intelligence, and it seems that the better AI gets, the more useful it can become. But can it do anything for your health? I'm Beth Motter here with Tiernan Ray. Tiernan, let's start off with a pretty broad question. Um, can AI actually do anything beneficial for your health? Good question, Beth. I've had my doubts because I've looked at a lot of work in the area of drug development and in the area of diagnosing patients. And it seems always that there's some kind of catch that this stuff, machine learning, deep learning doesn't quite work as it's supposed to. And it's sort of still a process. I met with one company the other day. This is a company called Twin Health. It's three years old. It's a startup that's based both in Mountain View and with offices in Bangalore, India. They've just gotten a whole bunch of new money. They've got 186 million in total. Um, they're actually up and running with something that really seems to deliver some benefit. This is a treatment for people with diabetes. Uh, what it is is a natural treatment. It's diet, exercise, a regimen that you develop with a coach, and it does not require any new drugs. And in fact, uh, they claim that they have some demonstrable evidence from controlled studies that a lot of people can go off of uh, using diabetes medication with this. The key is they've developed an approach using neural network forms of AI where they measure the heart rate of patients using sensors. Patients have uh, something like a Fitbit and other kinds of sensors. They take a quarterly blood test. All this data gets fed into a simulation. Simulation is a unique computer model of a person's entire metabolism. Uh, they then use the AI, the neural network approach, to do some intervention saying, what if we had this person intake this kind of nutrition instead of that? Uh, what would it do to the computer model? And based on that, they can then recommend to the individual along with their physician and their coach uh, to do these kinds of actual interventions in their work, change their diet, change their exercise, change their sleep pattern. And they do actually have some published, demonstrable, statistically significant results for helping people to reduce symptoms of diabetes and what they think are getting at root causes. Interesting. So um, you said they've done some controlled studies and they've been getting some money. How far along is this process? How realistic does it seem to uh, see this in the real world? Yeah, they're already actually in commercial deployment that they have some uh, patients already using this. They provide, the company, Twin Health, provides coaches and they partner with clinics uh, and they're actually getting paid for outcomes. In other words, they say, we want to help the patient in this way. And when the outcome is demonstrated, then uh, the clinical practice or uh, the managed care provider will pay, will compensate Twin Health for that demonstrated outcome. So the I entire idea of getting this uh, now $140 million Series C funding from a bunch of firms, Iconic Growth is one of the investors, Sequoia Capital, a famous venture capital firm is another one, is to take this pile of money, hire uh, more go-to-market people, meaning sales and marketing people, to go out and evangelize this, hiring more coaches, who are the people who are going to meet with the patients firsthand and help them to actually implement this regimen, um, going and doing partnerships and get them to places. But it's it's commercial. It's shipping now. It's being used. Uh, they are uh, presumably collecting revenue. They wouldn't disclose to us what the financials are. But yeah, it's up and running. And these published multiple published studies this year suggest that there, there are already benefits that are happening for people from it. It's incredible that AI uh, is making that difference and that we're already seeing some positive outcomes. Um, so, so with this, it feels a little bit early on. It's starting to deploy out. What learnings can we take away from this technology? Is this something that we can implement elsewhere? That's a really good question, Beth. So diabetes is the first target, but arthritis is another one. Hypertension is another one. Obesity is another one. Liver functioning disorders is another one. So there's a whole class of metabolic disorders that can be potentially ameliorated with this approach. That's the first point. The second point is, as Jahangir Mohammed, the CEO and co-founder, told us, it's amazing what can happen uh, with natural remedies to the body to heal the body somewhat on its own if you pursue the proper sequence of steps. So more broadly, what we may be learning from an approach like this is if the AI can show us the sequence of things in time that went wrong, then there may be a whole class of um, discoveries to be had about how things could go right 
if you set the body on the right course of steps to take in sequence in time. So sequence is very important. And this work is making that clear. I think this will be a huge success um, if you're able to pull up and say, this is exactly your blood, your results. This is what we plugged in. This is the outcome you can have. Um, movement and movement and nutrition has always been something that people have said is the best healing medicine. And I think this will be a really interesting point to be made using this AI algorithm to show people what they can and can't reverse with some of that. Well put. All right, Tiernan. Well, thank you so much for this. I look forward to following up with this. I look forward to seeing um, if this gets implemented and how people start to take off with it because um, already seeing positive results like that is incredible. So thank you for explaining this. And as always, you can read more about this story. We've got the link right below, or you can stick with ZDNet just to follow up with all things tech in general. Thank you for watching. Thank you.